All right, so we're looking at some more video gear. This is the MTP-10. Now I said video gear, but this is more towards, well, it's kind of like photography slash videography gear. Uh, because you make time lapses with this, you make moving time lapses, and this does, it, it basically spins around, um, and you can set the time on this, which I really like, I've had these before, and you couldn't really set the time, you just kind of twist them, they're kind of like an eggshell timer. This was actually made out of aluminum. Uh, we have an on-off switch there on the side, and it supports bigger cameras. Now, you don't wanna go too big, I'm not sure what the weight limit is on this, but I have the Panasonic GH4, and it fit on there just fine and had no problems, and I think you probably go a little bit bigger, uh, but just not too big. Um, so this is the on off switch we have it on here and then if you see here we have the it's DIR that stands for direction we can do counterclockwise or clockwise and then we have the amount that we want to go so we can go 15 degrees 30 degrees 45 60 90 180 degrees or 360 degrees and to go through that we just use the duration uh, button down here at the bottom and we can go and set it to whatever you would want. Now what's really nice is that all this is set to, so uh, let's just say for instance, I wanna start it real, well I'm not gonna start it, but what you would do, you know, it, 60 degrees, I would add 60 degrees onto, I would find that out, what would that be? I believe that's the 100, 105, 110, 115 or so. So it added 60 degrees onto the 115 and that would be 115, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 185. So it'd show you I would end up right there. But what I usually like to do, I'll line it up so I can start at something and I've got to do the math. Uh, but so it's, you know, I'll start at like 120, have it lined up at 120 or 180, and then we'll go to zero. Um, but so you can go through the different different durations. And then below that, we have the, uh, the time. Uh, this has, you can do a five minute, you can do 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or 60 minutes. So I'll kind of show you how this works. Uh, so say I'm at 15 and I want to do it at five for five minutes, 15 degrees in five minutes. So you'll see it move very, very slow. This is a very good example to show you. And it will start blinking once I hit that start button. And it's actually moving right now. And I've t tested this and timed it. And it's pretty right on, right on the dot. It's pretty close, maybe within a few seconds, uh, give or take. But to show you how smooth this moves, I would actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do the five minute setting, 360, so that way, oops, so that way you can see it actually start moving. So I'll hit go there and instantly you can see it. And now I can see I could stop it at 120 and then I could, you know, if I wanted to get all crazy with the timer and things like that. So uh, you can see it's going around there. Um, also we do, we can, this does run off battery. I believe it's a built-in battery. I don't know, I haven't opened it up, um, but they include a charging cord. So here's the charging cord. So you can charge this up, or if you were gonna do, I mean, like I said, the longest time lapse is uh, an hour, which I've already done, I think I have around three to four hours on this probably, and I haven't charged it. Uh, yet so that's pretty nice it's got a pretty decent uh, charge battery life I should say on it um, on the bottom we do have a place you can mount this to a tripod I would suggest mounting it to a tripod um, if you just kind of put it on a flat surface you can't really angle it as much but if you wanted to get some really neat angles you could use a ball head like this screw this onto the top and then you can position your camera and get some better views or whatnot. Uh, the one thing I do wish they kind of included on this was a level, just so you could tell if the uh, thing was level or not. But you know, there's there's always different ones. I got one on the tripod or on the uh, actual plate that goes onto the Joby. So there's the MTP-10 electric ball head. I'll put a link in the description, but I would definitely re recommend this piece of gear. It is solid and you can definitely get some really, really neat shots with it. So that's that. Thanks for watching.